Phil Islander's touchdown error gives ESA unexpected data on Comet 67. The European Space Agency's Phil Islander's botched Comet touchdown has produced a silver lining, as it has allowed the lander to take important measurements in two separate spots instead of one. The Phil Islander tried to land on Comet P67 on November 12th, in an area later named Agilkia but its anchoring harpoons and retro rockets failed, resulting in the lander bouncing off the comet. After hitting a crater rim and bouncing again, Philae eventually landed in a spot later called Abydos. Thanks to the bouncing trajectory data, scientists were able to analyse not one but two sites, and found that Agilkia is made of a softer surface layer of dust and ice, while the crust at Abydos is much harder. If Philae had landed in the intended spot at Agilkia, it would have been fried by the sun many months ago. In its current location, however, it was able to restart and discover that the comet has daily temperature swings, and that it is made up of 16 organic molecular species, and its surface contains radiation caused formaldehyde polymer. The Rosetta mission team hasn't heard from Philae for weeks, since it sent messages upon waking up from hibernation. The team hopes more data will eventually be sent, but if not, they are content with the amount of information that has been received so far. Like this video? Don't forget to subscribe! And follow us on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter!